Montada holds the advantage, heading to the final three furlongs then. Aryan Power right there under Mark Crean. Colony Queen in behind. Trying to get through on that rail is Pirate King. Won't be a lot of room there. Spanish Archer is just tucked in behind them. It's still Montada in front. No room there for Pirate King. Moving well still Aryan Power upside. Colony Queen is looking for a gap. Then comes Spanish Archer. Air Aryan Power, though, takes over now from Colony Queen in second place. They're being chased by Spanish Archer. Montada's found nothing. Then comes Pirate King, but finding plenty as Aryan Power driven by a length and a half to Colony Queen in second. Then Spanish Archer. Oh, what's going on here? Aryan Power's been eased off. Oh, goodness me. And Colony Queen has won it with Spanish Archer and then Aryan Power. And they're chased in by Pirate King and Montada. Now, this isn't a, a great finish here, unfortunately. Uh, well done to Connections of Colony Queen, but um, I think that Aryan Power and Mark Crean have been put off by the sun and the shadow across the track. But first past the post, Colony Queen, Connor Beasley, John Mackey at 7-2. That's your winner. But unfortunately, there's a, such a bright sunshine here. We've got the big stand and there's a shadow across the track and you can see Mark Crean I think just mistakes where the winning post is. It's an unfortunate thing that's happened here. He's sat up, feels as though he's won the race, only to realise in the closing stages the last sort of 100 yards. It's a very long final furlong here, and that's when he realised.